Thank you, Mr. Pogli. Actually, uh, after what Mr. Gag has said, I have uh, not too much to add and still uh, put in my two bits. So, first of all, uh, uh, on financing. So, let me assure you there's no dearth of financing. You know, if the sector is viable, the financing is there. Today, for example, you look at infrastructure sectors, uh, look at telecom, uh, look at oil and gas. Um, you know, uh, we just cannot imagine how much foreign currency funding has flowed into the sectors to the extent that nobody wants to borrow rupee anymore. If you look at any telecom company, they will take money money from us. Just tell you, sorry, you don't need it. And, uh, and that is because proactive decisions by the regulators the DARI and the industry structure. And in power sector, the unfortunate state as is a story of regulatory failure. So the regulators have made the sector viable where it has come to a state where developers have to go and uh, uh, you know try to beg for financing. The, the bankers have to see you know whether this project is for bankable or not, and how do you go about, and what are the regulatory challenges, how much losses are each discount making, and so on and so forth. So there's no, I mean, there's no shortcut to that unless we put our regulatory uh, policies in place correctly. Uh, you know, it will be a sort of start and stop story in this sector. Uh, even coming to the you know issues like tenor mismatch and then so on, uh, we have been taking up with RBI on you know uh, various issues. So, for example, and not really so much to do with uh, with renewable, but uh, for power sector in general. So, for example, to take care of asset liability mismatch, uh, the RBI has come up with a you know recent regulation, what we call popularly as uh, five by twenty-five, which it means that you know if uh, uh, let's say uh, an asset has a uh, PP of twenty-five years, and since banks cannot lend for twenty-five years, it allows banks to appraise the project and string a uh, 25 year PPA and with some tail period and then uh, you know give a loan for let's say five period amortization over a 20 year period but in the bank's books will be here as a five year loan because I have a refi at the end of five years and so and it can be refinanced multiple number of times so which essentially takes care of uh, uh, you know asset liability as much of banks uh, this is something we have we are trying to you know proceed that way for a long time and finally there will be um, similarly, if you, uh, in fact, that makes it you know far more uh, attractive than even uh, uh, foreign currency borrowing uh, for most borrowers because if you take even a longer uh, foreign currency borrowing, uh, the hedges are not available. So effectively, uh, if you get a tenor right, then uh, rupee borrowing is far more complicated. Um, on uh, on uh, tariffs. Uh, Again, uh, coming back, uh, as Mr. Bobby mentioned, in fact, lenders would probably be more comfortable with a, uh, with a tariff that is sustainable than one which is, uh, uh, you know, which is uh, likely to cause, you know, some issues later on. And, uh, you know, if you, if you look at the spirit of the Electricity Act, it's always uh, be that, that, you know, there is open access. And so, uh, the premise on which lenders fund you know, any, any generation budget is that, okay, if one utility defaults, there will always be a market where somebody else is willing to buy it. And uh, in that sense, the lower the tariff, the better it is. And, and but the precondition for that is, of course, that open access has to be implemented in its absolute spirit, which again we find lacking in most states. Uh, and so, you know, one of the most uh, critical issues in funding solar projects has been that, that uh, the tariffs have been high, I mean obviously for technological reasons and we have always been arguing that uh, to bring tariffs down to a sustainable at least a grid parity level, probably the government should step in with the capital grants and uh, in another new policy of course there is a you know, uh, capital grant spread over a five year period but uh, essentially tariff at five and a half rupees takes care of those concerns. Um, so uh, to sum up, uh, uh, you know what I'd like to reiterate is that uh, your quantum of financing is, is not an issue. There's enough capital, domestic and international, that uh, will flow in if uh, the correct policies are put in place. Uh, 